Hello, and welcome to your state capital here in Olympia. I'm Marcus Fricelli, and I serve the third legislative district, the heartbeat of the Inland Northwest, representing downtown Spokane, the North Side, and the Lower South Hill. I'm working on a number of priorities this year, including legislation ensuring we have healthy kids and families, establishing worker protections, and creating jobs. As a member of the Capital Budget Committee, I've also been working hard to secure targeted infrastructure investments for a community that put men and women back to work while improving quality of life. In the past, we've secured funding for infrastructure improvements to projects like the Emanuel Family Life Center and the Peaceful Valley Lower Falls Community Center to double after school slots and extend their reach and the types of services they provide for young people in our community. Today, I'd like to talk with you about some of the projects I'm focused on this year. One of our top priorities is finding dollars to help fund Spokane's integrated clean water plan. This will reduce pollution in our river, helping us have a cleaner river faster. I'm pushing for $17 million that would address the first piece of this multi-year project. Water is a critical resource. We all need it to survive. Your kids and mine deserve a Spokane River that they can play in and fish in without any concerns. I'm also pushing for funding for the Women and Children's Free Restaurant in the Spokane Children's Theater. A $300,000 grant from the Women and Children's Free Restaurant will help them serve more families and help address food security in our community. A request for the Spokane Children's Theater will cover the cost for their newly established permanent home. The Children's Theater provides opportunities for kids in our community to get involved in the arts, and their new home will ensure that it remains a cost-effective option for kids from all backgrounds. I'm also laying the groundwork for a grant program that would help schools across the state fix healthier meals for our kids. Our country is facing an unprecedented nutrition crisis, and Washington is no exception. As vice chair of the health care committee, I know that childhood obesity and diabetes are serious health concerns that are on the rise, and many families can't afford the kinds of food children need to thrive. Every day our schools serve thousands of meals, but school kitchens have been gutted, leaving most of the schools dependent on highly processed and highly unhealthy foods, rather than the wholesome fruits and vegetables that they need. That's why I sponsored the Apple a Day grant, which would support new equipment investments and help schools nourish Washington's kids. Finally, we need to do more to help our aging population in Spokane. And that starts with making sure they have the mobility they need. Like many of you, I did not know that the Corbin Senior Center didn't have an elevator. When I heard that, I knew it was something that we had to fix. I requested $300,000 for improvements to the Senior Center, including an elevator to help our mobility-challenged elders. Over the next few months, the legislature will be going over a lot of these projects and more, including passing a budget that I hope will focus on improving our schools, creating jobs, improving our health care system, and keeping our communities safe. Please stay tuned for future videos and visit my website below to sign up for my newsletter to get updates on what's happening here in Olympia. And please feel free to contact my office if you have any questions or comments. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to represent the 3rd District and represent you. Have a great day.